The abdomen and stomach can be sensitive to holding fluid and swelling, which can cause discomfort, but also can cause a backup of further swelling in your pelvic region and in your legs. Deep in your abdomen, you have a lot of lymph nodes and lymphatic vessels. They play a major role in moving the fluid out of your abdomen, but also for your immune health. My name is Kelly and I'm a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema as well as oncology and women's health. And in this video, I'm going to share the four main ways that you can help reduce the swelling and fluid in your abdomen as well as decrease the discomfort or pain while improving your lymphatic system for immune health. So we're gonna dive right in, but remember, if you have any new swelling or new pain, make sure that you check with your doctor before trying anything new so they can check out to see if there's anything serious going on and for safety. So the main way that we control swelling in any part of the body is typically with compression. When we're trying to get rid of swelling in an arm or leg, we'll typically start with using compression bandages they look similar to an ACE bandage, but they're meant to help reduce the swelling in that area. However, it's really hard for us to bandage the abdomen area. So instead of using something like a compression bandage for the abdomen area, we'll use something like a compression short or shapewear. There are options for both women and men, but shapewear is gonna give a really nice uniform compression that's still gentle around the abdomen area to help encourage fluid moving up and out of this region. Wearing a compression short or shapewear for even a couple hours a day can really make a difference for your lymphatic system. Spanx is by far the most trusted and well-known brand for shapewear or compression. Spanx has so many different options and various styles that you can choose from to get yourself some sort of abdominal compression. They have t-shirts and tank tops and shorts and even long full length pants. I typically do see that the shorts are the most popular as well as possibly the tank tops. We as lymphedema therapists just try to make sure that the compression around the abdomen area is uniform, meaning there are some that just give some lower support or some upper support, but we wanna make sure that the whole way around has the same amount of compression. We also look for a little bit of a thicker fabric rather than a really thin one because when it is thicker, you are less likely to have it rolled down and that can cause a tourniquet and that will get really uncomfortable. Some of the Spanx even have a silicone band right around the ridge or the top of the short. I like that because you're less likely to have it rolled down as it sticks a little bit better to the skin. I will place some links down below for the most popular options for that compression short or those tank tops from Spanx that the women and men that I work with like the most. You can also look for shapewear at other companies or other outlets, but you wanna make sure that it's not too thin and that it does give that extra compression around the abdomen area. Deep breathing is the next major component to help improve your lymphatic health and decrease the swelling in your abdomen area. Like we talked about before, deep in your abdomen area, you have a lot of lymph nodes and lymph vessels. All of the fluid from your pelvic region, your abdomen, your back, and your legs have to go through your tummy area to then get up and out back towards the heart. So by stimulating the deep lymph nodes by using your deep breathing, you can really help get the fluid moving up and out. Deep breathing is also a really great option for those who just had some sort of abdominal or pelvic surgery. A lot of times after surgery, they don't wanna put a lot of pressure against it or it's painful or sore. So doing some deep breaths can really help stimulate the lymphatic system to really speed up the healing process and get that swelling and fluid moving up and out of that area. Abdominal breathing, you'll also hear it as diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing. That's gonna help stimulate those deeper lymph vessels. There are even some small studies that show that just doing that deep abdominal breathing can even reduce swelling from another part of the body, such as the arm. By taking some deep breaths, you're going to help put pressure in the abdomen area, and that will help stimulate the lymphatic vessels and lymphatic nodes. So I'll show you how. So you're gonna place your hand on your belly or abdomen area. You're gonna take a deep breath, allowing your belly to expand, pressing into that hand but you wanna make sure that you're trying to gently press your hand inward to give some pressure. So take a deep breath in, and then as you let go, exhale through your mouth while gently pressing your hand inward. 
You can try taking three to five deep breaths throughout the day. I have created a more in-depth video on how to do diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing, and I'll put a link for that down below or up above here. The next major component to get rid of swelling and fluid in your abdomen area is with lymphatic drainage massage. Lymphatic drainage massage is used with the deep belly breathing to help stimulate and move the fluid through the lymph vessels. So what we wanna do after your belly breaths, I usually will do about three to five belly breaths with my hand placements kind of around different areas. Then we'll just work on upward strokes with your hand towards the heart. And you don't have to press really hard with doing this because a lot of the lymphatic vessels sit right underneath the skin. But you are gonna go typically against the skin when able and work in upward strokes throughout your abdomen area. I typically will start on the upper half of the abdomen and after working there, then we'll work down into the lower and then you can again work up in the upper again. I usually will do about five to eight in each area and as well, you can work around the back. I know for a lot of people it is really hard to reach on their back, but what we know with the lymphatic system is that if you were to draw a line down the middle of your back, the fluid on the right will move around towards the right side and the fluid on the left will move towards the left and it will wrap around towards the front. And so if you're able to reach or you're able to get some help from someone, you can kind of work around, reaching around and bringing the fluid towards the front on either side. Working on either side, doing about, again, five to eight of strokes in each area or however long you wanna spend. And then when you get here, you can move it back upwards again towards the heart. After you've done this, I will finish again with the belly breath. So placing your hand on your belly, gently pressing inward, taking a breath in, feeling your belly expand, and then let your breath go out slowly and gently pressing inward. Doing about three to five there. Doing a lymphatic drainage massage for the abdomen area is only gonna take you about three to five minutes. You can do it as much as you want during the day, but it's something that I like in junction with those deep breaths. I am gonna create another video that's more in depth on lymphatic drainage massage, so I will place a link for that down below when it becomes available, but I will also place links down below for more in depth videos on lymphatic drainage massage for the head and neck area, for the chest wall, the arms, and the legs. The last piece to get the fluid moving up and out of the abdomen area is with exercise. By stimulating the core muscles, you are gonna create a pump within the lymphatic system. The muscles will pump against the lymph nodes and the lymph vessels, and that'll help stimulate them to get the fluid moving up and out and against gravity. You don't even need to do specific core exercises like sit-ups. You can even just go for walks, do your household chores or your yard work, or play with your grandkids, whatever works for you. By doing just some sort of movement, you are going to help stimulate the lymphatic system. Fluid in the abdomen or swelling in the area can affect a lot of individuals for a variety of different reasons. It can be caused even by something like lymphedema or lymphatic dysfunction. But either way, using compression, deep breathing, lymphatic massage, and exercise or movement, you're going to help decrease the swelling and the fluid in your abdomen area while decreasing your discomfort and your pain and pressure in the area. Your lymphatic system is a really important system for your body for overall health and wellness because it does play that role with the immune system. So even if you don't have a lot of swelling in your abdomen area or you feel like you're just bloating, it is a good idea just to do some of these techniques to help with your overall system. If you wanna see more videos on how to take care of your lymphatic system with lymphatic drainage or other exercises, be sure to subscribe and press the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks everyone.